What would you do if you knew that the quality and quantity of your sleep not only affects your performance, but that it actually has a proven impact on your entire social circle? I am Linda Grandfors. And I am Alessandro Carpentiero. And here at Beyond Sapiens, we're all about optimizing your life by leveraging the latest science, research, and technology. Get ready to go Beyond Sapiens. In today's video, we're going to discuss sleep from a different, much broader perspective than just on the individual level. To do that, we'll analyze a recent study by Simon et al, which investigates the effects of sleep deprivation on three different levels, individual, group, and societal. Simon et al talks about the correlation between sleep health and mental health as a known fact. But through their research, they were able to highlight that our sleep also affects the health of our relationships, the quality of our social interactions, and ultimately charitable efforts nationwide. Many factors affect our helpfulness and motives to help one another, but ultimately our brain determines our decision-making and how empathic we are. In their study, Simon et al. found that sleep deprivation affects a part of our brain that is responsible for our overall empathic behavior. This part of the brain is called the social cognition brain network, which is a combination of different brain areas activated by our thinking. For example, when we consider whether to help or not to help someone. So what happens in the brain during sleep deprivation is the primary connections between these brain areas deactivate. Because of this decreased brain activity, our willingness to help others and even our ability to understand other people's needs and goals drop. To simplify this mental domino effect, sleep deprivation causes changes in our brain activity, affecting our willingness and ability to help and understand others. What if you sleep enough, but your sleep quality isn't optimal? As you can imagine, that also counts. Sleeping enough is crucial, but it's just a piece of the puzzle. How well you sleep has also been shown to affect your social interactions. The worse your sleep quality is, the less helpful you will be. Knowing all this, being aware of your sleep quality can give you valuable data you can use in your life. At Beyond Sapiens, we use the Aura Ring to track our sleep and have a dashboard where we gather all the most important metrics. Why is that useful? First of all, what you focus on improves. Secondly, if, for some reason, such as a late evening workout, my sleep wasn't optimal, I would know in advance that it would affect my social interactions, so I could be more conscious about how I show up. Can you imagine what would happen if all employees and employers were more aware of this? That is probably going to take some time. As of now, in fact, society, and especially the business world, often glorifies lack of sleep. I don't know about you, but I've heard many times salesmen like, if you really want to succeed, you should give up sleep. If you want to underperform and affect your social interactions, then sure. While if you want to truly harness your power, you should consistently prioritize your sleep. Sometimes though, life gets in the way and you might sleep one hour less than usual. Not a big deal, right? Well, according to the research, sleeping one hour less already affects your helpful behavior. And the authors have quite a lot of data to back this up. As part of their method, they mined a database of 3 million charitable donations in the US between 2001 and 2016 and noticed a 10% decrease in donations during the week of the daylight savings time shift. And interestingly, there was no drop in donations in other states where they did not move the clock, which confirms the findings of this study. If we apply this newly gained awareness to the day-to-day -day where many people don't get enough sleep, we can easily see that the economic and societal consequences can be pretty impactful. Looking at the right side, also the opposite is true. Well-rested individuals would be unstoppable compared to a group of sleep-deprived ones. That's why our maximization coaching programs, among other things, focus on improving the sleep quality of individuals and teams. As we believe that optimizing sleep is crucial, we want to give you one last important point from Simon et al. 
The results of the study indicate that our willingness to help others while sleep deprived is the same regardless if the subject of the help is familiar or unfamiliar to us. So maybe we all should reflect on the quality and quantity of our sleep so that we do not unconsciously neglect our loved ones, friends, and people around us. We must understand how we can be aware of these behavioral changes and ensure that our actions aren't unconsciously unaligned with our ethics and morals. Because ultimately, we all want and should live up to our values, uplift and help each other to be a part of a better, more caring society. We hope this video helped you gain a new perspective on the importance of your sleep. If you have any questions or want to share your perspective, feel free to start the discussion in the comments. And if you're ready to go beyond Sapiens, you can learn more about our human maximization coaching program in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.